Thanks for staying with us. Uh, lawmakers in Lesotho are set to discuss uh, whether the country should seek to reclaim some parts of South Africa. The kingdom wants to have the Free State Province, a part of the Northern Cape, Eastern Cape, and Bumalanga and Wazul Natal, uh, of course, reclaimed. Uh, let's look at this further now with uh, the director for the UJ Center for Africa China Studies, Professor David Munyai. Prof, thank you so much. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Some people are asking why now? I think uh, we should understand this debate um, in a context of a new government in power and all political parties are trying to be relevant and the discussion is something that has been in the sideline. However, um, by this time it appears that uh, the opposition um, wants to make a mark and um, one does not see this debate going any. Uh, further, given the fact that the entire um, issue is quite complex, I mean, to um, contemplate in terms of thinking on a serious note in terms mm. of handling the matter. So listening to you then, I suppose, you, you don't think there would be an appetite by the kingdom to want to, um, you know, pick a fight, and I'm putting that in inverted commas, as some have suggested, with Pretoria. Okay. Um, the issue is that there are two camps. There's the other camp that is also arguing for incorporation into South Africa. Mm. So it, it, it's a question of these two camps finding an amicable way of handling. But at the heart of it, I think it is to do with the level of uh, development of literature. I think uh, since independence, there has always been the debate that... Um, majority of people uh, who think that they would uh, incorporate into South Africa. However, the earlier debate um, uh, it was not successful because of the colonial and apartheid in South Africa. Uh, post-1994, I think the debate uh, went on in the periphery. However, this is the recent, first time that this debate is now right at the parliamentary level in terms of seriously taken as a national issue. Mm. And Prof, uh, you know, of course you talk about these two sides, some calling for the annexation, others saying let's reclaim um, these particular spaces. But looking at uh, over time how this debate has unfolded, can these two sides even find one another? I, I really do not think South Africa will entertain. I think Namibia will claim the same, this one team will claim the same, Zimbabwe yeah. will claim the same. Then I think uh, skinning the geographical setting of South Africa as it is, I think it would be difficult. I think the real debate, I think that is required uh, at the moment in Southern Africa, is to what extent can these units form a colonial boundaries given the proximity and uh, ethnic uh, nature of countries, I mean, uh, ethnic groups, whether uh, Zimbabwe in South Africa, Swatini in South Africa, and Lesotho in South Africa, Botswana. Uh, there are quite a number of people ethnically, they share both countries. So I think the best way is to handle it within SADAC and the AU. Uh, we are already moving towards a, a regional integration, um, ensure that we maximize um, the continent in terms of our bargaining with external uh, forces. Uh, as it stands, the city is not doing well as a country. Mm. There's always conflict and crisis. I do not think uh, if a vote is to take place within the city, there will be an agreement over some of these issues. Um, um, also, uh, given the fact the areas that they're claiming, uh, legally speaking, it will be really difficult to come up with a clear, uh, workable and sensible outcome mm. after this and crisis. And Prof, if it doesn't, uh, you know, go the opposition's way in the, of course, in, in, in Parliament, how big of an issue is this going to be for them, though, going into the elections? Because some are saying on the ground, it looks like this is pure electioneering. It's a relevance and seeking relevance as well as, I mean, they as an opposition, they have a right to raise these issues. But I think it might even raise the opposite uh, argument for those who are saying we need uh, to incorporate Lesotho in the main um, South Africa. But um, in my own view, uh, I do not think whether those living in the territories within South Africa will agree to join a country that is not doing well. 
um, nor can um, uh, the suit itself manage, uh, given the poor nature of the economy and this conflict, disagreements over uh, uh, political uh, uh, issues on governance. Um, however, I think the energy for Basuti members of parliament should be on regional integration. To what extent they, they can gain more uh, within a broader SADC, uh, where there's much more power for them as a small country. Mm, and it'll be interesting to see um, how this one goes. Prof, thank you so much for your time. Do appreciate it. We'll continue to monitor this particular story. And uh, Rabelang Hadebe, also our correspondent, is watching this particular story. That was uh, Director for the Center for Africa-China Studies, UJ Professor David Munyai.